There we go. Is it going to craft it? Come on. There we go. We have the scrapper. Hey, how's it going? Spy here with another Terra Tech episode. Now, last time we played, we went around and destroyed a bunch of enemies and their bases to try and find some new tech. It wasn't very successful. I was trying to find the foundry and the scrapper, but we had no luck. But anyways, in between the episodes, what happened is I uh, kind of modified this mining vehicle here. It's quite a bit bigger now. The tires are overloaded though, so we got to kind of fix that. We found some more parts over here for the uh, Geocorp stuff, which looks pretty nice. And then over here, I actually found the foundries. They were actually in an enemy base right near our base. And I uh, went over there and destroyed them. So we got three foundries here. We don't need them all. We're going to just put them in storage for now. But uh, what I also found is I found this thing here. This is the, I believe it's called the SCU storage device. What it does, it powers up. It's essentially a black hole storage device. Once it powers up, it'll take these items and throw them in a uh, inventory, as you guys will see in a second. Okay, here we go. And it will just pull it into the black hole there and uh, store it in an inventory. And we could just pop the inventory up like this. And there we go. We have all those parts in our inventory. We actually have another delivery cannon, which we're going to set up on this episode with these uh, foundries to f uh, to uh, kind of um, smelt these ores into something a little more valuable. And I'm thinking that I want to make a new base with these parts here because these ones over here are pretty small. And uh, yeah, so I think that's what we're going to do first. We're just going to cancel this here. There's a part over there that I don't really need. We're going to sell that. We're going to kind of build onto it like this. Now, I'm not sure if it's very if this is very efficient. Um, I might actually just make this my like little little uh, foundry area or little factory. So there we go. I uh, transferred all the parts over to our new little uh, structure here, our little base, whatever this is. Um, there's a refinery in the middle and we got some storage for our materials in the middle And what we're actually gonna do now is I'm actually going to make like a little tiny uh, Pull-up area where we can park and repair if we really needed to some of you were suggesting that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build it right over um, Right on the side here if we could turn these blocks there we go And we're just gonna have an area where we can pull up with our vehicle and kind of come in for repairs so we don't want it too far out. I have it like right here. Uh, we got to remove this thing here though. Okay. We got we to gotta cancel that. We got to move this here. I'm going to move this to the front right about there. We're going to pop open this again. And we're going to start building the little repair garage, I guess. So there we go. We could always extend it in the future if we need to. Um, but for now, I'm just going to do this. And we're going to have uh, some repair bubbles somewhere in the middle. I guess we can have them floating from the top so we get the most uh, out of them. That looks pretty sweet. And then we can just kind of pull in with this vehicle. This is our main battle vehicle. So this is the one that's going to need repairs and recharging once we get the, get the wireless charging pad. I'm not sure when we get that. Let's go into power blocks and take a look. I think we might be able to make them, but I'm not quite sure. Um, remote charger, that's what we need. Huh. It's grade 3 though, and unknown, so I'm not really sure how we get it. So I'm going to kind of construct the pad that charges the vehicles. I'm not sure if it's going to reach because the bubble might be a little uh, too high if we put it up here, but we can figure it out. So we're just going to go into power blocks here, get our repair bubbles. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, that's only going to repair the top pieces. So what we could do is we can kind of have repair bubbles on the sides here that might work there we go and one there awesome there we go we have like a little repair bay that should work really well now we just need the wireless chargers so that we can drive right in charge up and go that would be really awesome wait i'm looking inside the um trading post here and we can actually buy we can actually buy the fabricators now. That is awesome. So we can actually make a lot more um, things. But I don't think we have a scrapper in here. Um, fabricator, fabric, large receiver. 
Yeah, there's a scrapper right there. And I don't know how we get it because I don't think we can craft it either. So we can make the scrapper. We, t we need uh, titania and ignea, I think. Uh, the black min minerals and the uh, orange ones. Okay, there's some orange ones up there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go around. I guess we should probably get some power on our uh, little vehicle here before we go out. Alright, so we found some titanite ore. We're going to head back home. And we're going to foundry it. And see if we can craft the scrapper. Now, I'm not sure if we can. And it's going to suck if we can't, but we're going to try our best. So we're going to go over this hill, back to our home. Now, a bunch of enemies tried attacking the base, and uh, I, I, I kind of destroyed them. So we got a bunch of parts out front. So it would be nice to have a scrapper to get rid of all these excess parts, instead of having them in the inventory. So here we go. We're going to take this out here. We're just going to put this in here, like this. So there we go. We got one of those there. Throw another one in. And it should. There we go. And then we're going to put this in here like this. There we go. Is it going to craft it? Come on. There we go. We have the scrapper. It took me forever to get it because um, I actually crafted the wrong thing the first time. I crafted some type of armor panel and that's not what I wanted. So now we can turn this into a scrapping base kind of. So I'm going to kind of uh, put this here for now. We're going to remove this here, put this over there, and this as well. We're going to do some organizing here and there. I'm not sure what we're really going to do. So we're going to throw this here, right about, right about there. And we're going to kind of hook up the scrapper to that. And then we'll have a refinery, refine the ores, and then sell them. So I think it goes like this. I'm not sure which way is the output. Let's test it out. Okay, where's a the piece? There's a block right there. Now how do we do this? Oh, okay, we have it backwards. Okay, let's try that out. I'm not sure if that's really going to work. If you guys know a better method, please let me know. We need to test this out with smaller parts, though. So we're going to grab that piece over there. Back it up. Grab this piece here. Now, this should turn it into ores, hopefully. There we go. Let's see. Hopefully it works. Okay. It's, it's not going to transfer it over to the conveyor belt, is it? No, it's just going to sell them. That's pretty crappy. So there we go, guys. I just set up a little uh, device here to um, kind of scrap and refine my parts. Now, it should work decent. Now, there's not enough of these refineries to catch all the pieces. But what we do is I'm just going to buy some blocks here to test it out. So we have two of these blocks here, these small ones, and we just pick them up like this. I'm going to have a receiver right in front to kind of pick up the extra stuff like uh, this. Hopefully it works. And then this will go into the uh, foundries here before the scrapper. The already refined materials will go to the cellar over there. And it should give us some resources that are already refined. And this one here will go directly down here and it will be sold instead of going to the foundry. So that's another method of how we can kind of uh, filter out parts or uh, ores and stuff like that, which is kind of useful. So we can also throw on some normal ores here and there. So I also found this giant thermal generator. If we find like steam geysers inside rocks, we can plop that on them and it will give us an unlimited amount of power. So I'm going to keep this for now. I also found this drill thing up top. It kind of like pounds stuff into the ground. Pretty, pretty interesting. Um, oops, I kind of attacked my anchored blocks. Oh well. Okay, we're just going to pick up some parts here and there like this. And we're going to go take them to the little, uh, little factory that we made and see how it works. Just going to collect as many as we can really. Drive over them. Here you go. Cool. Now, I already did some cleanup in between the episodes, so there's not much parts around here, which is which is kind of crappy in a way, because we need to test this out. Oh no, I'm 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 pushing my my car. That's not what I wanted. Okay, back this up, and it should plop in a bunch of resources. Ah, well they're gonna fight over it. 
drive away before we grab them again. Let's see how that works. So it's going to kind of filter out some parts here and there. Like I said, the ores that can't be um, put into the foundry will just be sold. But this is a good way to get extra money if we really need it. Now we got a lot at the bottom. We got 28,000 BB, which is quite a bit. Now if we have a massive structure, a massive factory like this on a vehicle, that can get us quite a bit of money, which is really useful. Look at that. Look how much stuff it's selling. That's crazy. Nice. Alright, well, what we can also do is we can um, plop down this little SCU storage device. We can sell all the parts we don't need by putting them in here, which is uh, pretty handy. We're going to start selling stuff we really don't need. Well, we are, we're going to keep this cab just in case. But we got 42 of these blocks here. Now, we could just plop these down like this, and it should pick them up if, if our SCU device over there doesn't just steal them like that. Crap! Okay, let's try that out this time. Plop these down. There we go. That's working. Awesome. So we don't really need all these parts. We're just going to plop them down right here. And <laughs> it should start selling them. Now it would be useful, be more useful if we had a bigger line for smelting. So what we could do in the meantime is make a bigger chain. So there we go. We got all of our refineries there. And we're going to get some more of these. Um, conveyor belts. We're gonna have this kind of in the middle between them all. We need more some more conveyor belts like this. Have it kind of meet up in the middle. There we go. Now that should work pretty decent. It should start selling quite a bit of stuff. Now we need to have this one kind of like right here to sell the ores that are already refined from the blocks that we're uh, scrapping. Now this should go down the line. Start refining the stuff. Awesome! That looks pretty sweet. Now there's, there's a problem here though. These conveyor belts are going the wrong way. There we go. Nice! Now if you guys have any suggestions for this little factory, please let me know. I'm not really sure how we can improve it. We, I guess we could have uh, more stuff in better places and another scrapper probably. We could, actually, we could buy scrappers now, which is really useful. Huh. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for this episode. If you have any tips, like I said, please let me know in the comments. And, uh, yeah. So thank you guys for watching and subscribing. And remember, stay sweet. Bye.